Good day, class. In the previous video lecture, we discussed the first part of your laboratory diagnosis, which is the selection of your appropriate clinical samples in its considerations. In this video lecture, we'll cover the most common microscopic methods used in diagnostic mycology. Take note that there are some clinical samples that require direct observation under your microscope. This is the same case with your bacteriology. Example class, you receive a urine sample in the laboratory. So before we proceed to culture, we usually perform direct gram staining. The ultimate goal of performing direct microscopic observation is to aid the physician for ruling out infectious agents, either bacteria or fungi. And then by this, the physician can give initial management. Wet preparations, saline or 10% QH, are the most common microscopic methods that is used both direct and after culture. Saline mount glass, take note with this one, is used for the direct observation of fungal elements. However, saline mount is problematic glass. Why? Because it does not dissolve keratin in clinical samples such as your skin and your nails. The Laboratory Handbook of Medical Mycology recommends the use of 10% QH for direct detection of fungal elements in clinical samples. The QH preparation, when positive, provides valuable clues as to the etiologic agent of infection. The basic principle of your QH class, it acts to disrupt cellular sheets or clamps of proteinaceous debris that may be present and clears the specimen for easier fungal detection. On the other hand, class, we can also use caracofluor white stain, which is a brightening agent. So it actually enhances visibility of fungal elements. We usually perform this one class for the examination of our endotrix or ectotrix infection. So we need to define first the difference between your endotrix and ectotrix. So we need to focus on the word class. Madali lang to, kasi pag sinabi natin endoclass, key meaning nasa loob. Pag sinabi naman natin exoclass, meaning exo or ectoclass, meaning nasa labas. There are some reference book class that they use the term exo. There are some reference also that use the word ecto. To. Kaya either of the two in two memorize, pwede siyang ecto, pwede din siyang exotrix. Okay, take note with that one class. So ngayon, pag sinabi natin uh, in the tricks class, it refers to dermatophyte infection of the hair that invade the hair sap and internalize into the uh, hair cell. So for example, in this one class, ito, ito yung hair sap. So it, if this is the hair sap, that dermatophyte etiologic agent will infect inside the hair sap. Kaya siya tinawag na endotrix. This is, this is a contrast to exotrix class where the dermatophyte infection remains confined to the hair surface. So if you can observe in this picture class, saan yung etiologic agent? Tama class. Nasa surface ng hair sap. Kaya siya tinawag na Exotrix or ectotrix. So to uh, easily visualize this one class, we can actually use E enhancer uh, stain, which is your calcofluor white. However, class using an ultraviolet wood lamp, endotrix infection will not fluoresce, whereas some exotrix infection may fluoresce bright green or yellow green. So take note with that one class ha, baka lumabas sa quiz or sa exam. Pag walang carpal floor white, then we can use your woods lab. Okay, using your ultraviolet woods lab. Sino yung magpa-positive class? Sino yung magpa-flores? Tama class, si exotrix. Sino yung, mag, sino yung hindi magpa-flores class? Tama class, si endotrix infection. So ano yung positive result natin dito class? Tama class, fluorescence, bright green or yellow green. 
Okay? So, tandaan natin yung glass para may may sagot tayo sa quiz or sa exam. So, the next class is negative staining. And one of the best examples of your negative stain class is India ink or negrosine. In preparing your India ink class and or negrosine, madali lang siya. Bakit class? Kasi magpe-prepare ka lang ng 10% QH, tapos mag add ka ng India ink, so ang tawag sa kanya na ngayon ay India ink stain. Kung ang 10% QH mo mag add ka ng negrosine class, anong tawag na sa kanya? Tama class, negrosine stain. Take note also, class, that other references, they don't usually uh, use 10% QH. So, sir, ano yung ginagamit nila? Tama, class. Ang ginagamit nila ay di-ionized water. Okay, take note with this one, class, kung lalabas sa exam, and or sa quiz or sa board exam, kung walang 10% QH, anong ginagamit? Tama, class. Di-ionized water. Under the microscope, class, the Indian ink stain is used for easy visualization, of the capsule of your Cryptococcus pneumoniae in your CSF sample. The particles of the ink pigment do not enter the capsule class that surrounds the sp spherical yeast cell, resulting in a zone of clearance or halo class. Okay, if you can observe class in this picture, meron sang halo Ayan, around the cell. This allows for quick and easy identification of Cryptococcus pneumoniae. However, class, the disadvantage of this one class is it is very difficult to interpret. Next class is your lactophenol cotton blue or your LPCB. Okay, the principle of your LPCB class, it imparts a blue color to your cell wall. Okay, take note with this one class, your LPCB will impart a blue color to the uh, cell wall of your fun fungal element. It is used in tea smog class or wet preparation or slime culture. Yeah. So usually class, we perform your LPCB pag meron kang uh, aerial mycelia. Tapos kung may aerial mycelia ka, yun, kukuha tayo ng part ng aerial mycelia. Tapos, uh, maglalagay tayo ng lactophenol cotton blue. Okay, in the picture class, ayan, maganda, di ba? Maganda yung itsura niya class. This is typical aspergillus species. Madaming species si uh, aspergillus class. So, through microscopic appearance, we cannot actually identify the species level. Okay, the next class are the stains that I'll just introduce and then you just need to memorize class kung ano yung dinedetect niya ng mga fungi. Kasi pagdating sa mga principles class in preparation of these stains, you can memorize this one in your histopathology. Okay, class. So let's start with your gemsa or right stain. Familiar naman kayo dito, di ba class? Usually you use this one in your hematology. Okay, in mycology naman class, gemsa or right stain is used for the detection of your intracellular histoplasma capsulatum in blood, lymph nodes, lungs, liver, or bone marrow. Actually, class, pagdating sa microbiology laboratory, hindi naman tayo nagpe-perform ng gemsa or right stain. Bakit, class? Uh, Fino-forward natin yung sample if kung the physician requests for the detection of your uh, histoplasma capsulatum, pinoforward natin yung sample sa histopat. So the next class is periodic acid shift and gumers metanamine silver stain. These are useful in staining fungal elements from depleted tissues. Take note class, in our midterm, we will discuss your subcutaneous mycosis. And this uh, subcutaneous mycosis class, uh, these fungal agents can actually cause infection in depleted tissue. So if uh, we want to identify uh, etiologic agent or fungal agent in depleted tissue, then we can use either of the two. Okay, you have your periodic acid sieve and gomorous metanamide silver stain. Okay, the good thing about these two class is that uh, the two stains can actually stain viable and non-viable fungi.
The next class is Mayer's Music Carmine Stain. Okay, this Stain's class is used for the demonstration of the Milkoid Capsule of your Captococcus Neoformans. Okay, so if you can observe in the picture class, sorry class, ito yung capsule ng Captococcus Neoformans. Yan. Next class, you have your hematoxylin and eucine or HNE. Okay, class. Okay, this, this stain uh, determine hyaline and uh, dematisaceous fungi. Don't worry naman, class, kasi pag medtek ka na, tapos sasabihin na kailan ba talagang ma-identify ko to? No, class. Sinong mag-identify nito, class? Tama, class. Pathologies. Yan. So, pathologies yung mag-identify, class. And or pwede namang medtek, class, Meron tayong training for mycology, nag-o-offer naman yung UP Manila, uh, public, of, public, public Health uh, Department ng mycology training. So, anong ginagawa, class? Pag nakatrain ka na nito, then you go to the, your, for example, uh, respective hospital, then you can screen. Tapos, yung mga na-screen mo, so for example, may nakita kang ganito, and then uh, presumptive identification of a mucoid capsule for cryptococcus neoformans. By then, you can uh, refer that one to the pathologies. Take note, class, that the pathologies is very busy. So, at least, dapat ikaw, microbiologist, at least, ma-screen mo yung mga sample na dapat i-forward uh, sa pathologies nyo. Last for histochemical stains, class, you have your Fontana Mason stain. This stain is used for the demonstration of melanin or melanin-like substances in the likely pigmented agents of your phyo hyphomycosis class. So this is the best example class of the fungal agent. Yan. So ma-observe naman natin. But don't worry class, pagdating sa laboratory, majority of the work pagdating ng histochemical is part of your uh, histopathology section. So, last class is your germ tube or germ tube method. This method class is used for the presumptive identification of your candida albicans. So, ano yung procedure class? Madali lang. Kung meron kang culture tapos sinosuspect mo siya na possible candida albicans, yung kailangan mo lang is serum class. Okay, take note class, pagdating sa board exam, uh, very important to class. Bakit? Kasi ang Kailangan nagamitin natin na term is rabbit serum. Kay rabbit serum kasi yung usual na ginagamit natin class, which is conflicting pagdating sa laboratory class. Bakit? Kasi pag sa laboratory class, ang usual na ginagamit natin na serum is human serum. Bakit class? Kasi ang rabbit serum masyadong mahal. Tapos usual na ginagamit na lang nila is human serum. Okay. So take note with that one class, rabbit serum. Tapos, class, pag meron ka ng serum, ang, gaga ang gagawin mo lang is kukuha ka na uh, colony from the culture, tapos i-emulsify mo sa serum, tapos i-incubate mo at 37 degrees Celsius, incubate mo at uh, 1 to 3 hours naman, class. And then, if you can observe budding class, kaya ang budding ibig sabihin ganito, class, from the mother, magpuproduce siya na uh, uh, Sodo high fay, ayan, kung may sodo high fay siya class, ibig sabihin, uh, candida albican siya. Ayan. So we are done with our second part of your video lecture under your laboratory diagnosis. So I hope na hindi masyadong mabigat kasi uh, more or less nasa 15 minutes lang naman yung second video lecture class. So, ang important message lang naman dito sa video lecture na to class is at least you need to memorize uh, specific uh, stains for identification of your specific fungi. So, after you finish the second video lecture class, just take a rest and then we can proceed to the third and last video lecture which is your culture.